Hey guys, so I just did a Sephora haul and I wanted to share with you some of the newest eyeshadows to my collection. This is the brand new reformulated Makeup Forever eyeshadows. I'm so excited about these. This is just my first impressions on the product. Um, I can do a full on review if you guys want to see after I've had a few weeks of messing around with them. I do have each of these shadows on my eyes today and I was very impressed putting them on. Are they worth the price tag? I'm not 100% sure yet. I think I'm going to have to play with them a little bit more. I did primer on one eye and none on the other, and I honestly didn't really notice a difference, so I think that's a big thing speaking towards these, um, you know, saying that they're really good. And the pigment is supposed to be, I think they're like 80% pigment or something, which is the highest on the market, I guess. Um, so I was just very, very intrigued. I couldn't find the ingredients on Sephora's website or even Makeup Forever's website, like the specific itemized ingredients. But on the packaging on the sides, you will notice each of the ingredients. And I looked through and I typed all of these into the environmental working group on two of them. And it is giving me a low toxin rating. So we'll see. Um, I think that the ingredients that they have, there's no parabens or anything like that. I do think that the ingredients that I have seen, I'm comfortable using them. And um, I wouldn't like, you know, return them based on ingredients or something like that. Because when I bought them, I didn't know. Anyway, so first impressions on these. They're very, very easy to blend. This one I have right here, this is a matte brown. I guess I should tell you the colors I have. So this is a matte brown, it's M600. There are five different finishes. You have metallic, satin, um, there's a diamond, there's, I forget all the five, I'll put them down below if I can remember, or over here. Anyways, there's five different finishes. I have got a metallic, I have a matte, and I have a diamond finish. And they have names and a color number. So this one I have right here, this is called M512 and it's a really really beautiful just like true gold warm pretty shade. And I have that on my inner um, like the inner two-thirds I would say of my eye and then also as kind of an inner tear duct highlight. Then this ME or M600 the matte I've got this on my crease. I love this color. It's like a very warm tone brown. It almost has a little bit of like a burnt orange kind of like my shirt I guess but it's a dark brown and it was a dream to blend. I just put it on my, um, the blending brush I always use. It's the Sigma E40 tapered blending brush. It was a dream, so loving that. And then the last one I have is D320 and this is, I forget, it's something khaki. I'll put all the names, I think maybe golden khaki, we'll see. And it's just a very, very unique shade. So when you buy these from Sephora, you can, you buy them just in the pan form. Like you get them, just like this, and then you could either put these into a Z palette, or, so this is how they come, or you can buy their little compacts. Now you can buy either just a single compact, a two compact, or a three, which is what I have here. And if you buy them from Sephora, they're a dollar, and then if you buy a double or a trio compact, you get a discount. So um, you'll be able to see on the website what the specific deal is, but the most bang for your buck is to buy three because it takes off a certain amount, like so you basically buy two, get one free. So that's the best bang for your buck, so that's what I decided to go with. Um, so first impressions on these, they're just amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and do some quick swatches, and the pigmentation on these is just amazing. Like I'm just gonna do a couple little circles there, and look at that. And let's just show you what it looks like on my, my wrist here. It's just amazing. I hope my lighting's not washing it out too bad. Can you see that? And if you drag this, like it just keeps going. Like it just keeps blending and it's, it's just crazy. And then I'll do a little swatch of the, this is M600 right below it. Look at this. And it just keeps going. Like as long as you swatch, it continues going, which is just crazy. Like. I've never seen an eyeshadow quite that blendable, and it doesn't have parabens in it, which is crazy. And then the last one I have is the D320. Uh, Got that right here, this finger, and let's do a quick swatch on that one. Look at it, it's just crazy, it just keeps going. As long as you have your finger moving, it's going. And even with like a brush, I feel like the most impact would be using your finger with these specifically, but even with a brush, they blend really, really nicely. If you have issues blending, I think that these would be um, a really nice thing to have, and I would definitely recommend if you have issues. They are pretty pricey though, so I'm gonna go ahead and test these out um, and see what I think, um, my overall thoughts when I'm you know, doing a final review. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. But I'm really impressed with the colors that I got. I think that this is, I mean, the selection of colors, there's like 200 and something different ones. So first impressions, these are 
pretty darn amazing. Are they the best shadows I ever used? Actually, probably. <laughs> they probably are the best shadows I ever used. Are they very similar to some I've used? Yes, I think they're very similar to my shadows from the balm. Are these better? I think they are for blendability. So that's my first impressions. If you guys have tried these, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let us know what you liked. Let us know what colors you have. If you've got swatches or um, like your first impressions, leave that video and all that down below because I'd love to come check it out and um, see what else you've got on your channel. If you guys liked my video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.